I'm not not sad that this season's going this fast. I cannot believe we are through an entire month. I've lived here an entire month, a month and a week, and I still don't have furniture, and that's just how my life is going. But maybe by, you know, we should hit the FanDuel Sportsbook for this. When will Kay have a couch, a TV? When will she call the Geek Squad to come? I have to get like mounts and all of that. It's a devastating process. One more month? Wow, Brian. <laughs> oh, that's, I don't know, I was thinking about the playoffs in one month. Uh, but we are through that, so let's get to it. Because the one thing I, I do do, I'm not good at being a, an adult human, but I'm great at fantasy football. And I'm great at spending my time instead of doing things like, oh, I don't know, paying rent and, and you know learning how to be a human. But instead, I look at the waiver wire options and I look at things. That's why we are here to show you about Tyler Algier. Here's the deal. This is such a bummer. I love Cordell Patterson. He's out. He suffered a knee injury. He's out at least four. So Tyler Algier is a top priority. This is my number one pick because he showed up against the Browns. It's a run, you know, obviously they're running a lot in this Falcons offense. He had over 100 total yards, 11 touches after Patterson's injury. And he's still available in like 80% of leagues. So I would also put in just a little warning, a little asterisk here. Caleb Huntley, that's his teammate, a little backup plan because obviously he's going to be involved in some way in that rotation and he was good for 10 carries for 56 yards and a score. Now, Javante Williams is done for the year, so I give you Mike Boone. Um, it's a torn ACL. Melvin Gordon, how doghousey is he? What does Nathaniel Hackett have him in? I don't know, but he has a fourth fumble in as many games. It's terrible. So Hackett was talking to Big Game yesterday about trusting Gordon. I, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and say Mike Boone might be the guy because he seems to be the more trusted option, at least for now. And he's still available in over 90% of leagues. I do believe that Mike Boone will have a solid workload going forward. And what an opportunity for him to be the guy. Don't cough up the ball. Be a hero. All right, we're done with the running backs. Let's move on to Michael Gallup. He made his season debut on Sunday. I've always been a fan of his, and he made his impact felt immediately. He scored a big touchdown, only played on 64% of snaps and had two catches on the day. Uh, but that was, you know, to be expected. It's his first game back. His workload, I think, does go up from here, and his production will, too, once Dak gets back. Another wide receiver very much connected to his quarterback here is George Pickens. The picket to Pickens thing is real. He's a talented rookie, but he only had five catches through three games. The week four breakout was real. Six catches, 102 yards. He's got a connection with his quarterback, uh, Kenny Pickett, who's obviously expected to be named the starter. So I think this relationship is going to flourish. Grab Pickens now when you have the chance. Wasn't it was Pickett named the starter? Yeah. They're starting Pickett? Yeah, they're going to roll Pickett out there. Okay, now in this last one, before you give me your Twitter venom, who, why, what league would this guy be available in? How are you playing in a 14 league? Listen, if you're lucky enough to be in the 50% of fantasy leagues, all right, I'll look over here, uh, that haven't scooped up Mostert, yeah, you need to go grab him. He has to share touches with Chase Edmonds, but he's snatching up more and more of the workload with each passing week. He was out there on a season high, 72% of Dolphin snaps on Thursday night, and racked up 81 yards on Saturday. 17 touches. That is must own volume. So Mostert, if he's available, and I get it, he's probably not, but I felt weird not putting it on there because the numbers say 50% leagues do have him. Uh, Tyler Algier, uh, Raheem Mostert at running back, also with uh, Mike Boone, and then Michael Gallup and George Pickens for your wide receiving pleasure. I'm doing my overreactions to week four later in the show. Darius Butler was here. Mark Ingram will join us. Um, please hit us up at Up and Adam's show, but 